This is how you jailbreak a Wii. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the Wii and how to get emulators on it. These are the items you're going to need. Number one, you're going to need an SD card. Number two, you're going to need a Wii. Number three, you're going to need all those fucking cables that you need to plug the Wii in. Number four, you're going to need a device that lets you input the SD card into the computer. Number five, you need a computer. Um, I'm not going to throw this one. And last, you're going to need to be able to follow simple directions that I'm going to give you very quickly. Step one, right off the bat, go straight down to the description, download every link I have down there. You're going to need to get WinRAR, if you don't already have it. I mean, who the fuck doesn't have WinRAR? Number two, you're going to need to get, uh, Letter Bomb. Number three, you're going to need to get the file that's called, uh, Stuff You Need. Because you need that stuff. On the webpage for Letter Bomb, it's going to ask you for an MAC address, a MAC address. So open up your Wii, go into the settings, go to Wii settings, go to internet, go to console settings. Right there is your MAC address. I'm not going to show you mine. Type it in. And then uh, approve the thing, whatever. And either red or blue wire, it doesn't matter. Pick one. Do blue, sure. Put the SD card into your computer. Now you're going to want to take the, all the files that are inside of the letter bomb, drag it into your SD card. Click and drag it. Now take it back out of your computer. Put it in your Wii. Open up your Wii. Make sure your Wii is connected to the internet and updated to the newest version. That newest version will be 4.3U. Go to that little envelope in the bottom right and fuck around with it for a while, and eventually the one will come up and tell you you got a bomb. So click on it. And then just go through all this, you know... You, just click past all the the black and white text. Once you get to this menu, you're going to want to go up and go to install a homebrew channel. Hit continue. Success. Now just exit. You're done with that shit. Now it's right there on your home screen. You can click on it, but there's nothing in there because we haven't done anything yet. But we're going to do some shit. Now we're going to use the what you need folder. This folder comes with a thing that describes what to do step by step, but you, you're too lazy to read all that. I'm going to do it for you. It's easier. Diggity download that. Are right, you going to unzip that folder? So now, go to the what you need, then click on what you need again, then click on the files file, open up all that stuff, click and drag, highlight all of that. Drag that straight into your SD card. Overwrite whatever it asks you to overwrite, just let it do it, it's fine. What you need folder is going to get you the USB loader GX file. Now that you got it on your SD card, put it in your Wii, open up the homebrew channel. Once you have the homebrew channel, look at all this new shit you got. Whoa, where'd that all fucking come from? You know where it came from. Alright, you're going to go to iOS 236 installer. Click that, click load. You're going to get a bunch of intimidating text. Just don't worry about it. Just follow what I tell you. Hit 1. Now hit load iOS from SD card. Right there. It's the only thing you could hit. Hit A. Press any button. It'll exit. Now that part's done, but we're not out of the woods yet. Now you're going to go to see iOS X Rev 20B installer. And while you're waiting for this shit to load, you get to jam out to a dope-ass remix of Take On Me. Now you're going to select the right iOS version which I don't remember what it is. You're going to want to pick iOS 236 on the screen using the D-pad, scrolling left and right on there. I know on my capture it's really hard to read what number it is, but trust me, that's the right one. There we go. Agree to the disclaimer. I'm sure you all know the risk you're taking. Just uh, hit, a, hit A. Agree. All right, now you're going to want to select the base iOS version. You're going to want to choose iOS 56V5661. Hit A on that. Now again, custom iOS. This is the same thing. This time you're going to pick iOS 249. Then you're going to go to WAD installation. Then you're going to go to Wii SD slot. You're basically just hitting A, agreeing at this point. All right, this will take a little while, but that's okay. You can just pause the video because I'm moving right past it. Now we're going to move on to iOS 250. This time we're going to pick iOS 38 v 4123. Go to iOS 250. Then again, you're just going to spam through it. WAD installation, Wii SD slot. Then push any button to return back to your home screen. Wait for the download. So you can just back out from here. Go back to the home screen. See, now you got USB loader, but it's you have to go through the homebrew channel to get to it first. Fuck that. This is how you get around it. Open back up the homebrew channel. Scroll over to the right. Go to WAD Manager. Hit load. It's asking for another iOS version. This time you're going to pick iOS 249 and then select Disable for the NAND option. Then click on Wii SD slot and scroll down to WAD. Then you're going to pick USB loader GX Unio forwarder.wad. Right there. Install that. Once that's all done, hit B and go back to the main menu. Oh, and what do you know? It's right there. There it is on the home screen. No more going through the homebrew channel to get to it. Now we're going to move on to the emulators. Okay, to get those emulators on there, you're going to want to get Homebrew Browser. That's another link down in the description. Click that up, download it, un unzip it, all that good stuff. What you're going to want to do is unzip that, open up, highlight all the things that are inside of Homebrew Browser, click and drag it into your apps folder that should already be on your SD card. Now, back to the Wii. Open up Homebrew Channel. There it is, Homebrew Browser, just like we planned. So go ahead and click on that. Let it run through all its setup it's got to do. Again, this is another loading screen you're going to have to wait through, but I'm skipping that shit. It might say, like, error or aborting or some shit, but look at that. It opens automatically. There's the shop. Now you got access to all those classic games like Secret, 
Secret Mart Mario Chronicles, you know, that's what we're here for. So scroll on over to emulators, pick your favorite ones. I decided to go with Visual Boy Advance GX and Wii 64, which Nintendo 64 and Game Boy Advance emulator. Now you gotta get some ROMs. So what you're gonna do is take your cartridge that you own and legally extract it and put it onto your computer. Make sure you do that. You wanna go the legal route. That is the safest way to do it. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Fuck that. Just pirate it. I'm gonna use my personal copy of Zelda no Detsu no Toki no Akarana. Alright, so just open up EMU Paradise, pick some random ass game. I don't know, it's Shrek, why not? So now what you're gonna do is put the SD card back into your computer, open up the emulators file. So you got VBAGX, that's the Game Boy. Open that up, go to ROMs, click and drag your ROM over, that's it, you're done with that one. Let's move forward onto the Nintendo 64 one. It's gonna be the same process, open up Wii 64, open up ROMs, click and drag. Now back on the Wii, let's open back up that homebrew channel, and what do you know, there you go, you got all your new emulators on there, your fancy new little emulators, you got your Game Boy, you got your Nintendo 64, open it up, let's test those games you downloaded. And look at that, it runs like a dream. I'm sure this is the kind of game you're all here for. It's gonna be the same shit with the Nintendo 64 emulator. Scroll on to Wii 64, hit load, go to load ROM, load from SD card, then pick your ROM. Once you got that all loaded up, scroll on down and hit play game. And look at that, you're playing, you're playing Zelda. You basically follow the same logic to get emulators for other games. Most of them will just have a ROM folder you can click and drag in. Some, like the PlayStation one, you have to make your own folder. But it's you, you can figure that out. It's fine. It's not that hard. There you go. Now you're done. You can load all your ROM collections you have straight into there. Play them on the big screen. Now take them with you. It's, it's convenient. It, not as convenient as a PSP. Frequently asked questions. I followed everything exactly as you said, and the letter bomb is not appearing. Okay, make sure you actually extracted it and dragged the files that are inside of it. Not the folder that says letter bomb, but the folders that are inside of the folder. You gotta do that. A lot of people are making that mistake. Will this work on a Wii Mini? Well, I mean, my tutorial depends on an SD card and the Wii Mini doesn't have an SD card slot, so... No. No, we won't. Does this work on a Mac? I mean, probably, but... I don't- I didn't do my tutorial on a Mac, so I can't really help you there. Can I do this on my Wii U? Yes, that's just an entirely different process, again. Does this still work? I mean, unless Nintendo preemptively went back and did another patch and updated the Wii again for some reason, there- it's not gonna happen. Or if one of the links I have in my description ends up dying or going dead for some reason, Beyond that, there's no real reason why it shouldn't keep working in the future. I mean, come on, there's shit that I just can't help you with. If your computer just fucking explodes, or like, the thing's just freezing for seemingly no reason, like, I don't have enough information to help you with that. Like, I have no idea what to do, so I mean, I, I, I don't know.